Game. What What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty. We are finally back with more Panthers Dynasty. Last week, Georgia State was in the big house, defeating the Wolverines 38 to 21. Head coach Chip Nolan beating his alma mater as number 14 in the country, and Michigan ranked number seven. This week, we open Sun Belt Conference play as number eight in the country at Western Kentucky. Will the Panthers get a win on the road against the Hilltoppers? We are going to find out next. Innovation that excites. If you want to contend for... Towers get the ball to get this game underway from the 20. Handoff to Phillip Clay up the middle. First down and more shedding tackles. Finally taken down after a 16-yard rush. First and 10. Western Kentucky. Sanders quick screen pass to Baker. Breaks two tackles. He's got a first down maybe almost short by inches. Second down and inches now for the Hilltoppers. Fakes the handoff here. Does the quarterback. He takes off. Pass midfield, first down and more taken down after a 16-yard gain. Isaiah Sanders on the play. First and 10, Hilltoppers. Sanders can't find anybody open, tries to take off, but runs into his own man and falls down for the sack. Second and 14 now for Western Kentucky. Hand out to Phil Clay, breaking a tackle, getting a nice block, and stiff arming his way out of another tackle inside the 10. Touchdown, Western Kentucky, Phillip Clay. 38 yards on the touchdown run, giving the Hilltoppers an early 7-0 lead over number 8, Georgia State, as we get our first studio update. Middle Tennessee State beats Troy 34-27. Back at our game, Georgia State's going to get the ball for the first time on offense. Smith back to pass, dropping back deep on 2nd and 10 in the end zone and throwing it away, setting up 3rd and 10 for the Panthers. What will they do? Smith looking to pass. He's looking, has all day over the middle, and it's broken up by Chris Henry, and the Panthers have to punt. Steve Smith 0 for 3 on that opening drive. Second and one now for Western Kentucky, and this one's lobbed up to Higdon, and Ryan Higdon 17 yards and a first down into Panther territory, just like that for Western Kentucky. Handoff this time goes to Phillip Clay again, and he's going to gain eight yards on the rush. So far, the Panthers unable to stop him on the ground. Sanders on second and two will hand off to Baker, and he's going to stiff arm his way down to the 20. A first down for Western Kentucky, and they can celebrate as this drive continues out of the shotgun now on second and four. Sanders hands off to Jefferson on the delay to the right side and he will gain five down to the ten just enough for that first down and it's first and goal to go now for the Hilltoppers Sanders hands off to Phil Clay outside getting blocks and into the end zone for the touchdown 14 to nothing Hilltoppers on Phillips Clay's second rushing touchdown of the day and Big Red can dance all day now our second studio update now Alabama number four in the country goes down to number 19 Missouri 28 to 17 so another upset in the top 25 Western Kentucky will kick off now Georgia State down by two touchdowns BJ Allen will down it in the end zone and Georgia State will take the ball from the 25 here second and four Hand off to Anthony Gross, up the middle, shedding a tackle and gaining seven, a first down. So some progress there for Georgia State, getting a first down here for the first time in the game. Second and ten now, handoff goes to Steven Leach, and he breaks a tackle, gaining eight yards, and that will set up third and two for Georgia State. Smith under center is going to hand off to Matt Barnes, the third running back in this three-headed trio of running backs by committee here Georgia State uses and Barnes gets the first down it's first and ten now Smith back to pass looking and taking too much time and he is sacked for an 11 yard loss on the play 
second and 21 out of the shotgun. Smith looking to pass once again, and a free rusher comes through and just throws Smith to the ground like a rag doll. A loss of eight will set up third and very long. 29 yards, Smith back to pass, fakes, and he is going to be sacked for a third straight play. And this Western Kentucky defense is all over the quarterback. As you look at the offense by a glance, Georgia State minus two total yards. The Hilltoppers 134. The Hilltoppers take over now up towards midfield, third and 12. Sanders back to pass. He's going to throw this one and it's picked off by Georgia State. Stevens has the turnover up towards midfield. And maybe Georgia State can get something going here. First and 10. Smith will fake the handoff. Look, fire deep downfield, and it's caught by Luther Madison. 31 yards out of bounds into Hilltopper territory. As we look at the replay here, Smith threw this one in between two defenders, a nicely thrown ball, and Madison comes down with it in Hilltopper territory. And after one quarter, the Hilltoppers on top, 14 to zero. Georgia State will open the second quarter, trying to cap off this drive with a touchdown from inside the 20 of the Hilltopper. Smith takes off on second and three and ends up throwing this one away. One for six so far. Only that 31-yard pass connection with Luther Masson so far. Hand off to Leach, and he gets inside the 10. First and goal for the Panthers. Smith under center here from the nine. Fakes the handoff, drops back, fires and caught by Terrence Flynn. Nine yards and a touchdown, and Georgia State is on the board, now down by a touchdown as the Hilltoppers take over on offense from their own 30. Handoff to Phillip Clay. He has been the crux of their offense up the middle for 14 yards and a first down. Later in the drive, it's second and 10 for the Hilltoppers. Sanders back to pass. He hits Henderson, and he will be taken down inches short of the first down marker. Third down in inches. Sanders hands off to Clay. Outside, he has running room. A nice block ahead of him inside the 20. And down into the end zone for the touchdown. Phillip Clay, 47 yards on the ground. And somehow, Western Kentucky is on top of the number eight team in the country, 21 to seven. Georgia State takes over now, trying to get their way back into this game. Smith back to pass, has all day, and finds a wide open Terrence Flynn, who makes it out past the 40, a 21-yard gain through the air. Very next play for the Panthers. Smith will fake the handoff, drop back to pass here. Fire deep downfield, and this one is broken up. It bounced around there a few times, but in the end, it fell incomplete. Second down and 10. Smith looking to pass over the middle. He hits Donald Clark, our leading tight end, with a 12-yard reception and a first down. Later on in the drive, it's third and three. Smith hands off to Matt Barnes. He's going to break a tackle, cut his way back inside, and end up gaining 12 yards and a first down. Smith now out of the shotgun on first and ten. Looking, having all day here really, and dropping back and taking off and firing off his back foot into the end zone. Josh Everson, 28 yards wide open in the end zone for the touchdown. And Georgia State pulls back within a touchdown of the Hilltoppers as they take over on offense with under three to go in the half. Sanders taking off and he fumbles the ball, but it's picked up by a Hilltoppers offensive player. They retain possession, first and ten, handoff to Phillip Clay, cuts it back inside, then back out, and gains 11, and another first down for Western Kentucky, and Georgia State's got to be getting mad at watching Big Red do his dance. Later on in the drive, Sanders throws in, it's intercepted by Blake Stevens, his second interception on the day, and with under two to go in the half, Georgia State's looking to tie this game up. Smith fakes a handoff, fires deep downfield, and it's broken up by Lamar Peterson, his second deflection on the day. Later on the drive, it's third and two. Handoff goes to Jones, the fullback up the middle. Terry Jones with a six-yard rush and a Panthers first down. Third and 11 now on this drive for Georgia State. Smith back to pass, looking, can't find anybody open, takes off on his own here inside the 40 and hit down at about the 33-yard line. Three yards short, and with the 22 seconds left, 
Georgia State's going to go for it. Dump off to Anthony Gross on the screenplay. And he cannot make it to the first down marker. And Georgia State turns the ball over. And at halftime, Georgia State's down by a touchdown to Western Kentucky. A rough first half for the Georgia State Panthers as they are down by seven. Entering the third quarter with the ball handoff to Matt Barnes and a gain of eight yards on a rush up the middle. Looking at the halftime stats, Georgia State 102 passing, 53 rushing, giving up 71 through the air and 175 on the ground to the Hilltoppers. So this rush defense needs to get better. Third and one, handoff to Anthony Gross up the middle and he'll make his way forward for 11 yards and a Panthers first down. So a good start to the second half for Georgia State as the handoff goes to Luther Masson nice on the outside. jet sweep and he'll gain four yards setting up third and short. Smith under center will hand off to Stephen Leach up the middle. He makes his way ahead for 10 yards and another Panthers first down. First and 10 now for the Panthers. Smith will drop back to pass here looking and he's going to have to scramble away and he cannot get away and he's sacked for the fourth time today. 11 yard loss. Later on in the drive it's third 26. Smith looking to pass. Scrambling around and throwing deep downfield to double coverage and overthrows his receiver. Probably not a good idea to throw that pass anyway but Georgia State has to punt. The Hilltoppers take over. First and ten, the pitch to Phillip Clay is going to go nowhere but backwards. A four-yard loss on the play. Nice defense by the Panthers. Third and 14 now. Sanders is going to dump it off on a screenplay to Clay, and he's going to lose another two yards, and Georgia State gets the three and out, and they get the ball back on offense just outside the 40. This pass to Luther Masson on the comeback route is good for 17, and a first down now into Hilltopper territory. Smith hands off to Gross on the delay here and he is stuffed in the backfield. A two yard loss. That'll set up third and 12 for the Panthers. Out of the shotgun, Smith looking over the middle and he has Donald Clark down the field out of bounds at about the 32 yard line. Second and six now, Georgia State Hand off to Anthony Gross up the middle using his speed to gain 16 just outside the 10. Ball spotted at the 11. It's first and 10. Smith back to pass and he's going to be sacked again. The fifth sack on Steve Smith on the day. A 10 yard loss and at the end of three quarters Georgia State still down by a touchdown. Georgia State starts the fourth quarter with the ball in Hilltopper territory, trying to cap this drive off with a touchdown, down by a touchdown on third and 17, and Smith has to throw it away, and Georgia State settles for a field goal to make it 21-17. The Hilltoppers take over. Sanders passing over the middle to Ryan Higdon. Eight-yard catch and a first down. Is up by four. Third and five now for Western Kentucky. Sanders from under center. He's going to end up taking off here up the middle, pushing a defender to the ground and gains enough for another Western Kentucky first down. Big Reds celebrating once again. First and ten, a quick screen pass is deflected by the Georgia State defender. Incomplete. That would set up a third and two here later on in the drive. Handoff goes to Phillip Clay. He's got the first down and more shoving defenders to the ground inside the 25 down to the 24 and Phillip Clay 160 yards on the ground so far today. Second down and 12. Now Sanders passing over the middle to A.J. Henderson. 17 yards on that catch setting up first and goal. Sanders now hands off to Jefferson. Right side and the defender had him but he got loose and into the end zone goes Marquez Jack Jefferson for the touchdown and Western Kentucky is on top now 28 to 17 as we look at the game track from today. The Hilltoppers all over Steve Smith sacking him multiple times today five times so far in this game as Georgia State takes over down by 11. Steve Smith on first and 10 is going to hit Anthony Pendleton for 11-yard reception and a Panthers first down. Four minutes to go in the game. 
Georgia State still down by 11 in this pass. Deep caught by Luther Madison out of bounds here as we take another look. Madison, three catches, 63 yards on the day. And he gets this one right before going out of bounds in Hilltopper territory. First and 10, Georgia State. Smith will fake the handoff, roll out to the left, fire over the middle. And it's dropped by Luther Madison, but a flag comes out. And we have a face mask penalty on Western Kentucky. 15 yards and a first down for Georgia State. Smith now in first and 10, scrambling around the pocket, firing back across the field, and it's caught by Trevor Phillips down at the five, a 21-yard reception, setting up first and goal. And Smith will hand off to Anthony Gross, and he can't find anywhere to go, luckily making it back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and goal now, Smith under center. Will fake the handoff, roll out to his left here. Cut back right, cut back left, and fire into the end zone, Trevor Phillips. Six yard touchdown catch, oh my God, I cannot believe that throw and that play. And Georgia State will go for two here to get within a field goal. Smith back to pass, he'll scramble out to his right. And he's gonna take off inside the five, and the two point conversion is good. Georgia State down by a field goal now with under three to go as Western Kentucky takes over. Henderson with the catch here for 13 yards and a first down for Western Kentucky. Georgia State only has two timeouts left here, 2.15 left in the game. Ryan Higdon makes this catch into Georgia State territory, 16 yards and a first down. As you look at the replay here, he makes the catch and gets into Panther territory. 144 left now and Sanders is pressured right off the snap and has to throw the ball away second down and 10 now for the Hilltoppers and Sanders will hand off to Phillip Clay up the middle he will go and he is going to gain about six yards third and four a big down for this Georgia State defense Sanders back to pass looking and decides to take off but he is sacked behind the line a three-yard loss, and that's going to set up fourth down and a field goal attempt by the Hilltoppers is short. That would have put him up by six, but instead the field goal falls short, and Georgia State gets to take over from the 35-yard line. No timeouts left, down by three, a minute 30 to go. Smith back to pass on first and 10, and he is sacked 13 yards behind the line. Second down and 23 now. Smith back to pass once again, and he's got to scramble outside the pocket and throw, and that one falls incomplete. And a third down and 23 upcoming for Georgia State. Smith out of the shotgun looking, firing quickly to Donald Clark over the middle, and he has the first down up towards midfield, and Georgia State has to hurry back to the line. First and 10 out of the shotgun, Smith. Scrambling outside the pocket, and he is sacked again. A nine-yard loss on the play, and the clock continues to run. Later on in the drive, it's third and 19. 25 seconds left. Smith scrambling. He turned around. Fires deep, and this one is broken up. That's going to set up fourth and long. Smith out of the shotgun here. This may be their last shot. He's going to fire deep, and it's caught by Josh Everson down to the 11-yard line, 48 yards on that pass and catch. 15 seconds to go as Georgia State hurries to the line. Smith takes the ball. He takes off here inside the 10 and he's gonna run it into the end zone for the touchdown. And Georgia State has taken the lead and they take this game with eight seconds left to go. Steve Smith, your player of the game. 269 yards passing and four touchdowns on the day. And the Hilltoppers cannot believe they let this one get away from them as Georgia State gets the last second victory over the Hilltoppers, 32 to 28. Taking a look at scores from other games around the country this week, a top 25 matchup. Number 11, Mississippi State goes down number 10, South Carolina, 34 to 28. Looking at the stats from our game today, Georgia State gave up 212 yards on the ground. They can't be doing that on a week-to-week -week basis and expect to win. Looking at the players of the game, Steve Smith on offense. A great final drive to win this game for Georgia State. Four touchdowns total on the day, 269 yards passing. And Georgia State 
number six in the country now as we advance to week five. Our next upcoming game against Troy at home in the Georgia Dome. We come in three and one. Troy's one and two. We'll catch you guys back here for week five. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode.